See this dress from Evolve with this giant bow? I'm gonna recreate it. Because my name is Meredith, I taught myself how to sew so I can do this sort of thing. Something is not right here. Do I have a pre-existing pattern of this dress that I can use? No. Have I ever made a bow before? No. Did I buy pink fabric so my dress would be an exact replica? No. Does the cut of this dress seem like risky business? Yeah. I think we should just get started. I've been waiting for a really long time to open this fabric. Since Barbie pink is so last summer, I went with my favorite color, which is purple. The fabric I bought is taffeta, which I've never worked with before. Okay, next project I do is not gonna have five yards of fabric because this is so hard to manage. I just looked at my receipt that I got with the fabric. And <laughs> I bought seven yards, seven yards of this purple taffeta fabric. Why did I buy so much freaking fabric? I won't run out, that's for sure. We need more bow. Well, thank goodness I bought seven and a half yards of fabric just for this occasion. Because the bow is the star of this show, I'm gonna start with that. Okay, I'm trying to decide how long and how wide to make the bow, and I'm I'm kind of at a loss. And like, it all kind of comes down to this. This is, this is it. <laughs> that's not gonna work. Okay, why am I writing out algebraic equations to figure out the size of this bow? Like, I feel like I should be able to measure out a rectangle. <laughs> I've got three different pattern pieces to make this bow. The first is this large rectangle, which is 40 by 22. The second is the dangly part of the bow. I kind of wanted it to go from out to in. I feel like that's kind of what the revolved dress looks like. So I made this as long as the yard and a half would allow. 6.75 inches, three and a half inches at the most smallest part. And then the last piece is what's gonna hold both pieces together. And this is 10 by six inches. make the bow, I'm going to take the large rectangle and fold it hot dog style and then sew the ends together across the longest part. I'm going to bring the seam to the middle and press the seam open. I'll flip the fabric so the seam is on the inside. Then I'm going to fold hamburger style. We're just hitting all our picnic meats in this video apparently. With the seam on the outside and also across the raw edges. Bring that seam to the middle and press open, then flip so the seam is to the inside. Set that aside and sew the two dangly pieces together, right sides together, making sure to leave an opening so you can turn the right sides out. Now for the smallest piece to hold it all together. Fold in both ends of the longest side and iron down. Fold in half, hot dog style, so the folded ends are together and press. Accordion fold the large rectangle in the center. Use a needle and thread to wrap around and hold in place and then secure the thread so that it all stays in place. And as my dad would say, now we're cooking with gas because this is starting to look like an actual bow. Now figure out the center part of the dangly part and attach to the bottom of the bow with a needle and thread. And yes, yes, this really is as awkward as it looks. Now take the smallest piece and wrap around both pieces. Mine was way too long so I cut some of it off hand sew the ends together. This does not need to look pretty because no one is gonna see it. And now let's move on to the second most exciting thing about this dress, the actual dress. <laughs> Although I think this bow looks quite cute as a top, but I'm gonna have to leave that as another video for another day. Another video for another day. Because I'm an amateur and don't know how to create a pattern from scratch, I took the most like pattern I could find, which was Vogue V9252. 
I used the bodice pieces only, folded them into shapes I thought they should be in, and extended them so it would be a full dress. We're very scientific over here. <laughs> then I cut them out of some testing fabric, went to sew the pieces together, and... Already, you can see that my bottom is not lining up, so that's great. Yeah, that looks ratchet. And it keeps getting worse. The more part of the skirt I make, the more issues I run into with ends not matching up. Something is not right here. Something is not right here. Um, all right, I'm just gonna work with this in the mirror. Okay, instantly better when I brought it up. Instantly better. That's number one. Number two. Just a little tight around the bum. <laughs> Should I just abort at this point? I don't know if I want to keep going. Um, yeah, this would have to be brought in like a ton. This might be beyond repair. I think I need some time with this. Okay, update. I put a dart in right here and I think Much better, much better. And don't forget, I'm gonna put lining in, so this will come in like five eighths of an inch. Closer. I dismantled this test dress back to the individual pieces, retraced them to include the adjustments I made, then recut those pattern pieces out of test fabric and made a brand new test dress. I'm gonna go try on the second draft of this dress and I feel like we're at the point where we're like, so, did it work? <laughs> Do you like my pun there? I'm pretty happy with this. Kind of fits like a glove in here. I'll do a full twirl. So the question is now, am I ready to cut out of the main fabric? Am I ready to cut out of the main fabric? I think I'm ready to cut out of the main fabric. <sighs> We're ready. So I get the straps out to start making a pattern for the straps and I just got off the phone with my mom and I showed her the dress, the revolved dress, and she was like, you know I always wondered how people sat down with straps like that and a dress like that and I was like, oh yeah, you bring up a good point. Guess we'll find out. <laughs> now that that's done, let me unravel what's left of seven yards of fabric because I feel like buying seven yards of fabric was a mistake. yards of fabric. My goodness, why did no one warn me how hard it is to put pins in taffeta? It's like trying to put nails through a tarp or something. Good lord. <laughs> You might be wondering why or if I haven't fixed the uneven bottoms of the skirt pattern pieces. And the answer is, I haven't because I don't know how. So I'm just gonna make it out of the real thing and then even it out like on the real dress and figure out what the hem should be while it's on me. Here's how we are not going to iron princess seams at the bust. I'm not just gonna take my iron and like press down on the bust of a princess seam because, well, ouch. <laughs> I'm gonna take my ironing board and use the curves of my ironing board to iron. So this is my seam line right here and I'm just gonna wrap it around and start ironing it that way instead of just like smashing down the bust. <laughs> Working on the straps now and this is definitely gonna be the most tedious part folding in half and then sewing this down. I do have a lining for this dress because I'm a classy lady. The lining's not gonna go all the way down, it's just gonna be the bodice part. All right, I'm 
I need to put the lining to the dress. Before I do that, I got my straps in place on the dress so they're sewn into the lining. So now I have my dress right side up. And now I'm gonna take my lining right side down and pin them together. I'm getting ready to flip the lining and notice that the lining and the taffeta is definitely not the same color and it's not matching up. It's just not the same shade of purple. But we're gonna flip anyway and it just is what it is. It just is what it is. And you know what? It still looks good from the inside. Next step is for me to put the zipper in, which I'm not gonna show you because nine times out of ten I screw it up. But zipper in hem, get these straps down, let's go. Fast forward, zipper's in, hem is hemmed, straps are sewn in. This bow is just underwhelming me. Is it underwhelming you? It just, it's not enough oomph. We need more oomph. Oomph. <laughs> we need more bow. More bow. We need more bow. Remember when I was complaining about buying seven and a half yards of fabric and why did I buy seven and a half yards of fabric? Well, thank goodness I bought seven and a half yards of fabric just for this occasion. Now I have plenty of fabric to work with to remake this bow. Good call, Meredith. Good call. To beef up the bow, I'm going to extend it downward as much as the fabric will allow. To give more structure, I'm going to add interfacing, and I'm going to add even more beef. <laughs> what is it with me and meats today? <laughs> By extending the dangly part so it almost goes to the floor. And here's how it turned out. I love the bow. Love, 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 love the bow. But I have absolutely no place to wear this dress. I have nowhere to wear this dress. So I'm going to make some popcorn, sit on my couch, and watch the Olympics in heels and full makeup and all. Thanks for watching.